Hi guys. So ignore the mess behind me. It's a total disaster on this couch right now. But I just got back inside from walking to the mailbox. It's about 1 p.m. and I'm finally starting the vlog. But I am sweating because I just threw the sweatshirt on super quick to just like run down there and walk back. It is so hot outside. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have worn this. But the reason I walked down there is because Connor's mom sent us a package. She is so cute. I swear, she's always sending packages. But she texted me that she sent it yesterday or that it should be arriving yesterday. And I like, I think I was just expecting it to come to the door because sometimes it comes to the door, sometimes it goes to our mailbox. Like I never really know where it's gonna end up. So I was waiting for them to like bring it to the door all day and then I just forgot and it never came. And so then I needed to go check the mailbox. So there's a little card. And then she sent this. I'll have to read what the paper says. But there's a little string tied around it. This is so mom and aunt. She like is so personalized with all her wrapping. It's so cute. Okay, the traditional first year anniversary gift is paper, hence the first anniversary is also known as the paper anniversary. So these are note cards and envelopes. Oh my goodness, what's in here? Shoot, more tape. <laughs> Which is good because it's protected. I just really should have scissors, so that's my bad. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I just like saw a peek at it and I don't even know what it is, but it looks really cute. Oh my goodness, what the heck? This is so beautiful. Oh, are you kidding? I feel like I could guess exactly the store she bought this from because it's my favorite store. I might be wrong, but it's this little like heart wreath made out of shells. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. What the heck, that's freaking beautiful. Aw, so cute. Good morning. It's about 9.15 on Thursday, June 4th. I have no idea when you're gonna be seeing this footage or what footage you already saw. I don't know. Um, just because if you guys, <clears throat> I don't know what time you're watching this, we're watching this soon after June 4th or not, but currently right now in the world, there are some major protests going on in the world in relation to George Floyd's murder and I felt like the best thing that I could do was to take this week off from posting on YouTube. Um, it frees up time for me to spend my time instead of editing and uploading and filling out the bio and all the things that come with posting a YouTube video because there's a lot of behind the scenes work that happens. It freed up time for me to be able to use that time to educate myself, to look into um, resources to donate to, um, to just increase my knowledge about what's going on and find better ways to advocate for people in my community and to make a change um, just even if it's just within my family so I've been working hard on that and because of that I haven't been editing because I've been trying to stay focused and present in the moment and, like really learn and grow from this time because I think this is a huge moment in our community um, but because of that I haven't been editing so I have no idea when you're seeing this so hello happy Thursday um, I have to turn the air on because it's way too freaking hot. So sorry if you can hear the air conditioner. So I am headed to the post office right now. Everything is a bit more open. So it's so crazy. Like I'm sure as you guys know, but we're having this huge movement. Hope that this will cause change in the world because friggin' like, I don't know. I was just always taught to treat people how I want to be treated. And so the concept of not acting that way and not treating everyone with the same respect and dignity and like, I just don't, I just don't grasp that. I don't 
totally grasp the fact that there are people out there that just don't treat everyone with kindness. Maybe that's something that I'm immune to because like the people that I know are kind and I try to be as kind as possible. I don't know. I'm still learning. I'm trying my best guys. Um, but I just don't understand how we live in a world where this is still a thing. Why is it still a thing? Like, why do people think that they have the right to be rude and mean and hateful, like truly hateful, and just kill one another? Like, what are you doing? And why Why does anyone think that because of the color of their skin, they're better than anyone else? Like, that makes absolutely no sense to me. It just blows me away because these are not people that act the way that creates hatred like this are not people that I associate with. And so I think it's easy for me to feel like that just doesn't happen, but I know that it does. And it friggin' breaks my heart that it does. And it's horrible that it does. And so that's part of what I'm doing this week, trying to just educate myself on how I can stop that. Even if it's just, even if it's in conversation, even if it's someone making a rude comment or a racist comment, if it's me trying to stop it in their tracks right there. Like I'm just trying to find ways that <clears throat> I can contribute and make the world a better place because we freaking need to. Like, this should not be going on in 2020. It shouldn't have to. It shouldn't have to be a conversation that we're having, but it is. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, my whole point of that was, in the midst of all this protest, we're still in quarantine. Like, not totally. Like, my state in Colorado and my county specifically is pretty open, but I've still been staying home. So I haven't gone out much, so it feels weird. The post office is about the only place that I've gone because I went to Shabbat Keytown Experience Packs, and then I'm going now to Mayo Connors Packages. But other than that, I did go shopping from that haul that I posted a couple weeks ago. Um, and I've, like spent time with some of the wives that um our wives and the guys connor's deployed with but other than that i've really just been at home and like my job interviews i really haven't been going anywhere so it's um i don't know it's just a weird time guys 2020 is freaking weird but i saw this quote today this or maybe i saw it last night that was like maybe 2020 it wasn't the year that we wanted but it was the year that we didn't know that we needed and maybe this year will really cause change in the world and cause us to like rethink the way that we act and maybe it'll just change humanity and make it better i sure hope so i don't even know if you guys can see me right now because this lighting is horrible but i feel so dumb i keep my wallet on my pop socket and i took it off to go running this morning and didn't put it back so i don't have my card so i can't pay for this package unless i can like pay with my phone Unless I can do Apple Pay. I just don't want to drive home. Crap. Let's see. USPS Apple Pay. Let's see if, they, if I can Google it. Ooh, okay. Got it. All right. Let's see if they have Apple Pay. Hopefully. Okay, guys. So hopefully you can hear me over the air conditioning. But um, Apple Pay didn't work. I don't think... The guy told me I could try, but I don't think he even had like the correct... Um, little like scanner for it. I think that he thought he did because he said like, oh yeah, we can we can do that But sometimes it's hit or miss if it works out But I just don't even think he had the right scanner for it um, But he was super nice. He said he was about to go on a 15-minute break So he was just gonna leave the package at his like little workstation and Give me time. I have like 15 minutes to drive home and drive back um, Which I think I should be able to make it in time. I don't know but he said that he could just leave it at the desk because he didn't want to undo everything he just typed into the computer because it took forever with like the customs form and everything else since it's an international package. So I'm driving home super fast. I call my brother and he's going to grab my wallet and just like bring it out to the car so then hopefully I can just turn around. Hopefully I can be back in 15 minutes. We'll see. Okay guys, it is 10.13 and I made it back like five minutes ago. I ran in there and there was no one in line, thank goodness, because there was a million cars in the parking lot that I thought maybe there was gonna be a line, but nobody was there. And the guy like waved me over because he told me to come right back to him since he had my package. So he waved me over, I paid for it, and I was in and out in like 10 seconds. It was super easy. So now I'm gonna head home. I am starving. Um, I think my fast ends in like 10 minutes, which I'm stoked about because I'm so freaking hungry. So I'm gonna head home, make some coffee, make some food. Hello? What are you doing? You don't know? Hi. Hi, I just went to the post office. Do you wanna go outside? Okay, let's go outside.
I don't know if you guys follow Mariah Robinson here on YouTube, but she posted on her Instagram that she started doing open fit and I, you guys know, I love the BBG app. I did sweat all the time at the gym and I freaking loved it. Um, it's the sweat app, not the BBG app, sorry. The sweat app and I did the power program most recently until the gyms closed and I loved it so freaking much but since being home I don't know regular like BBG just wasn't doing it for me like the at home program it just wasn't as fun so I was getting kind of bored with it I've obviously incorporated running since Connor left and that's been great but it's only 30 minutes three times a week and sometimes I just like want to do something else too so I looked into OpenFit and I actually really like it this is not sponsored at all but I will show you Okay, so when I open up my phone, this is a little folder that I have for all my, like, fitness, fasting, food, all that stuff. <laughs> that sounded like it rhymed. I guess not rhymed. Alliteration. Fitness, fasting, food. Okay, anyway, this is the app right here, OpenFit. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. At the top, it has, like, a food calculator. You can track food on here if you want to. Um, I don't, but you could. You just put in, like, your height, your weight, your goals, what, like, your goal weight is, blah, blah, blah. And it tells you what to eat. Again, I don't use that, but you could. Scroll down. These are, like, workouts that are coming up. And then, see, these are, like, some more live upcoming. And you can go to see all classes. That's, like, what that would take you to. Or you can go to join a program, and you can hit see all. And there's, like, all programs, live trainer-led programs are on demand. On demand is just, like pre-recorded videos that you can do live there's actually a trainer there which is super cool because they um you have the ability to turn your camera on like on your phone while you're doing the workout and they can see you and tell you like if your form is good or you need to change some things or whatever they're the only one that can see you the rest of the class can't but it's super cool because there's actually someone there like literally live with you pilates there's this oh my goodness sorry connor's like blowing up my phone pilates this summer challenge extend bar um, get active for COVID relief, five day fit week challenge, um, I don't know what that is, rough around the edges, it looks like boxing, there's a Tough Mudder one, 600 seconds, and yoga, so those are all like of the programs, and then you can choose based on what you want to do, so like strength training, barn pilates, walking, running, cardio hit, yoga, weights, kickboxing, stretching, and treadmills, and then if you go down here to class schedule, it says live, so if I go to tomorrow, they start as early as 5 a.m., but obviously it's like 12.30, so this is the next one today is 1.15, but you can just choose. So, like, those are two that I signed up for today. I'm not going to do the extended bar because I already did a Pilates class earlier, and that just doesn't sound fun right now because <laughs> I ran this morning and then did a Pilates class a few minutes ago. But you can see you can just sc scroll through and pick one. Some of them get full, but they have them literally, like, all night long every day and you can like pre-schedule them too which is cool so if I wanted to do like one at 5 a.m. tomorrow I just hit sign up and it'll send me a text reminding me to take it so that's kind of what that app looks like and when I came back inside I got a text from them saying that my Pilates class was starting in like 10 minutes so I did a 25 minute Pilates class and then afterwards that was literally I probably finished it at like 20 minutes ago 30 minutes ago after I finished it I noticed my stomach was hurting really bad and I was like this is weird like I don't know I have digestive issues so I thought maybe that was it um but it's not my monthly visitor decided to show up so I decided to come upstairs super quickly um I brought the little snack that I made my room is a freaking disaster guys like just don't even look this whole like making a care package thing was so fun but it made my room a disaster zone so I'm gonna have to clean it at some point but I ran up here, put on some sweatpants, got this heating pack, and like shoved it in my pants. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here with a heating pack on my stomach. Um, I got some carrot and some hummus, and I'm gonna have that for a snack. I ended up not drinking much of the coffee that I made earlier. I don't know, I just wasn't in a coffee mood, and I'm kind of bummed because I wasted my keto cream packet. I have my carrots and my hummus, and I'm probably just gonna watch some YouTube and hang out for a little bit, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hey guys, so using my heating pack is not enough at the moment. So I have open fit pulled up. I'll show you. That's what it looks like. It's like counting down to class. I'm gonna do a little quick, I think it's like 12 or 15 minute yoga class, hoping that maybe like stretching would help, and then I think I'm gonna get in the bathtub because your girl does need some heat on her back. And I get sick of baths. I feel like I just sweat in them and I don't love them, but we're trying all the options today.
Who would send me somewhere? That's my phone number. What the freak? How many flowers am I gonna get this deployment? I don't know. Oh my gosh, it was the um, company that I did that um, that Instagram giveaway with, the book company. Oh. It was them. Thank you for your time and expertise from the Q&A webinar. We wish you the best of luck in your career from Elsevier. What the heck? That's so nice. 